up. Oh, Carver, so that's going to be the big, the big deal. What? And you just believed her? Try saying any of these. Is Carver oh, going to be the big bad? <laughs> I think he might be. So if you don't say anything, like, no matter what, someone's going to fire at you. Or point a gun at you, basically. Even if you don't say anything. You think this episode will be more about the humans fighting each other? Because season That's four, what every season one. episode is about. Really? Season one was more about survival and the zombies. I guess so, but still, like, the human element decided how, how good your fucking chances were. Let me take a look. Carlos looks just so fucking weird. He's so weird and everything. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. He might just chop it off. But there might be laughter in the background. People laughing at this. Wah, wah, wah. Damn, that could be anything. There's no way that this couldn't be a human bite. Hmm. This isn't how we do things, man. <laughs> isn't it amazing that this guy literally looks like Kenny? Oh god, you're right. He does look like an aged down version of him. I know that worked for a cousin down in Ames. And fucking and he acts like Kenny too. He literally does. If he had a kid, then he would be Kenny. But at least like well. Later on in the episode, he becomes less. Oh, if he had a kid, it would be fucking duck. Mm. You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? I'm not a real doctor. Uh, I'm just you know, I'm one of those doctors who just has a name. I study music. I have a doctorate in music. Who's she? Sarah. What I say? Stay inside. Man, my prescription for these classes is off for two years. I can't see shit. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me. Even though you're not in the game, that isn't actually an option, yeah, by the way. You You're with these people to the end. To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Jeez, Kenny, fuck you. Is that just what we're gonna call him now? Because I've actually forgotten his name. <laughs> I'm gonna call scum. him Ken Fucking Kenny is probably still alive, yet he scum fucked his skate into this game twice. Like He's weaseled his way in here like a tricky a tricky dick. Oh, just like a fever would set in because my arm would get infected because it's a dog bite going untreated. How, Man, how tricky of you, you shithead. Yeah. Yes, you're exactly like a fucking doctor. Yeah, but I don't want her meeting my daughter because then my daughter could talk to someone who actually knows what the fuck's going on. I don't want that. I'm not wasting supplies. I don't want my daughter to know how fucking dangerous it is to live in this world. No, never mind. I don't want my daughter to be able to fucking cope or do anything if I would somehow to fucking pass away. That would suck. I want her to die in ignorance. Don't be like that, man. There's fucking more family simulator bullshit going on in this season. Is what is, the, what is the playlist description for this like zombie family time simulator? <laughs> it's fucking apt, man. Do you think we should make a new uh, playlist for this? I don't know. I kind of want to see how long that gets if we just keep adding all the episodes onto it. <laughs> yes, we should. All right, this is gonna be the longest fucking playlist on fucking commentary comms. That means I'm gonna have to add the add the playlist into circulation again. Sorry. Oh boy. Well, you know, it's funky fresh. Here's the luxury shed. It's got everything you need to escape and fuck us up. <laughs> Look you... at my gun jiggling in the wind. 
<laughs> Man, fucking... I don't know if Season 1 had this problem, but Season 2 has this problem where when people are holding things, it, does, it just seems like they're in the air between their hands. You really notice it in a certain um, very brutal scene coming up where... <laughs> well, you'll see it when you see it, but yeah, in this... I never really noticed it in season one, but in this season, it does feel like things just kind of jiggle all the time. You know, the worst, the, the most disgusting thing about that scene was the fact how Clementine was holding that needle. Oh, you, I, I was trying to be oblique about it, but yeah, you, to escape this, you need the hammer. But let's look at everything else first. <laughs> that, that fucking uh, Lee humor right there. <laughs> I wish it, whenever you clicked on anything, it just went, hmm, or huh. Now, basically, the big skill in this game is learning what the solution is so you can click on everything else first to get all of the extra stuff. <laughs> Clark. You basically have to memorize all the solutions and then work backwards. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. You know, you're really, really kind of jaded. Why wouldn't he help you in the morning when you're already dead? Oh, well, she's dead. I better stitch this up now. I mean, her. We could get zombie blood all over us. Yeah, so let's go get the obvious solution device. Why would they let you keep the fucking knife? Um. They're not all bad. Well, that's her knife. We can let a little girl die, but we ain't gonna steal her shit until she's dead. Wow, I you hope, fucking suck. You know what would be an amazing part? Is, uh, you, you, have you heard the movie 127 Hours? Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, you've seen it? Fucking, yeah. uh, your, your character gets stuck into something, and there's zombies coming out, and you can't get your hand out, and you have to cut it off. That would be fun. Well, it'd be fucking horrifying, but it'd be fun. And you only have a knife. I, don't know I hope that happens to Clementine. I remember finding that movie incredibly dull. Wow, what? You're, you're, know, you I pleb. Know. How, I, I how can you okay. find uh, glorious actor James Franco boring? I, I don't know. I just don't know, Noonan. <laughs> so great in Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Was he the one who played Venom in that movie? No, he's the one who played uh, Harry. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Man, I really regret we didn't record when we were fucking... It was fucking you, me, Neo, and Sweet, and we were watching Spider-Man 3. That was fucking funny shit. <laughs> So there's actually a couple of ways through this one. I, just, I literally mean a couple, there's two. Two? I only know of one. And even then, you're gonna be on the same route for most of the time anyway. Basically, there is a way to get bandages. Uh, there's two different ways to get bandages. The rest, you have to get the exact same way each time. Hmm. But let's, let's try the door first. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Even Clementine realizes I'm being fucking retarded and stops. And now we've got a splinter as well. We're going to have to get tweezers while we're in there. This game really doesn't let you do really dumb, thing, dumb things, does it? No, it kind of stops you. It's kind of like, you, you don't want to actually do that, do you? We're just joking, you know? You ain't serious. <laughs> I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. Oh, this reminds me of some people. See, she's such a bitch. I would, yeah. Uh, the question about whose baby is it is amazing. Yeah, I love it? that scene so much. <laughs> I love that because Clementine comes off as such a little shit in that scene, but for all the right reasons. Whoa, you can actually do this? I don't know. Yeah, you can talk to him because he's not a dick. 
Now, I only actually... This is actually a surprise to me as well. I was just, like, experimenting in this scene to see what happened. I came across this and I was like, holy shit, yes. So, this is kind of like a... I guess this bit is kind of blind. So, I couldn't tell you if there's, like, a specific set of dialogue choices you can use to get him to, like, shout out or shun you, but... I'm gonna guess that most all the dialogue options actually lead to the right solution, because that's what the game feels like. Uh, does he help you? Maybe he's like, one of these things, he's like, I can't help you, but I'm not gonna tell. I believe that might be an option, that's, like I'm saying, I only, I know that you can get him to give you bandages. I don't know, like, if he can make you die or fuck up. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just tired. I'm tired of all this fucking shit, I've been a video game character all my life. <laughs> fucking sucks, I can't even think for myself. This asshole is fucking nerd, just playing video games. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. I'm in some sort of limbo where I do the same shit over and over again. I've seen fucking Lee's death a million times. Do you realize how much that fucks you up? I can do that, I've stitched my, my pants before. Just the same. I'm just watching this because I've never seen this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's interesting. This was new to me as well. So this scene, like, the first time you play it does actually seem like, oh shit, there's a lot of options here, but there really isn't. Once you see this, once you see the solution, it is kind of like a beacon saying this is the solution. Yeah, that becomes a thing during the later scene where it's obvious she's going to stitch herself up at this point, so it's not spoilers. But that becomes something you can use during the stitching scene. Yeah, you um, can. Yeah, Lawley actually told me that, like, if you drink on it enough, she bites down on it to stop the screaming, but I didn't see that. I drank from it a bit when doing that scene. I was like, this, this isn't doing anything. Maybe I'd clicked it wrong, I'm not certain. And, yeah, those those stairs are kind of sticky. If you just, like, walk vaguely towards them, when you get right off them, you can just walk back up, because that's automated. <laughs> so I just, like, I just had to stalk away and then do a long, like, give it a wide berth, basically. <laughs> Yeah, look, isn't it kind of obvious that's the solution, once you see it? <laughs> do, 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 do. It reminds me of fucking Oblivion when they claimed that every, like, every quest in that game had, like, three different solutions, when what they meant was the one they previewed had two different solutions. And that was either you could run on a ship screaming and cutting people, or you could hide in a box and they'll take you on the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking, you've been Molyneux. Fuck me. You know... Uh, what's that? I respect, I respect Molyneux. What's that game coming out that's uh, space exploration or some shit? Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, I couldn't uh, no, tell you. No Man's Sky? Could be No Man's Sky. Yeah, No Man's Sky. That All game looks way too something. fucking ambitious, to, ambitious than it actually is. Like, I mean, Sweet got really upset when Rachel called it an art game, which it basically is. Okay. Sweet gets mad a lot. So, you can't really get caught in this house. You really can't. What if you don't hide in the toilet? You'll see, I show it off in the extras. <laughs> okay. Well done, Telltale. You've David caged yourself up so hard. What, do you want a knighthood as well? Oh yeah, by the way, David Cage was fucking knighted. He was knighted? By he fucking was knighted. Who? He's but... Sir David Cage now? Yeah, he is. He's Sir Cage. 
Uh, by the way, this is actually from my extras run recording, but it actually felt more apt in the main run because I didn't actually experiment much with this, but this line of conversation goes on for f like five minutes and it's entirely optional to hear it. It doesn't really establish much, though. Did the, did the doctor just notice you? Um, I'm uncertain. It does look though he's like, eh? Then he looks away. So maybe he's not such a bad guy, or maybe he just really just keeps looking at the exact wrong moment. Like, man, that door is jiggling. Like my gun. I better fix that. I'm looking up, I'm looking up the, um... I'm trying to find the David Cage knighted bullshit story. Isn't he friend? Who was he knighted by the French king or something? Yeah, it's a French. It's a French honor he received. Hmm. It's already fucking. It's already off the the uh, first page on Face Punch where I saw the story first, so they probably don't even give a shit. I I can't actually find it. Shit. Oh, fucking Sucks. like David Cage. He's not done anything noteworthy. He got. Fucking David Bowie to do video game music. David Bowie? David Bowie, Bowie, how the fuck you want Bowie. to pronounce it? David Bowie! Do you like David Bowie? I like David Bowie. You can't really get caught in this, you like, every time there's, like, a close call, someone says, No, don't leave the kitchen yet. We have more to talk about. <laughs> You're really, really glancing to the side a lot there, Kenny, 0 0.5. 0 0.5? Yeah, I think he's a beta version of Kenny. I guess they gave him the asshole features first. Yeah, without the, uh, the, uh, my family Lee stuff. That's why we're gonna have two people, at least two people, die at the end of this. I hope, like, the final scene in this is Kenny 0.5 facing off against Kenny, <laughs> like, on top of a burning building or something. I'm, be I'm gonna bet Kenny is Carver. We never heard his second name, so why not? Actually, no, we didn't hear his second name, did we? Uh, I don't think we heard anyone's first name. We, yeah, oh, the only, like, last name we knew was Lee's. Did we? Lee know. Everett. Oh, oh, yeah. Fuck, the I don't rest, care. Everyone else was just kept to a first name basis, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> well, everyone was either first or second name, but not both. Jesus Christ, this is really boring, actually. This is why it's all optional dialogue. It doesn't really establish too much more, to be honest. It's like more stuff we already knew. Like Just you could infer talking from in the... circles. This is like an average episode of season two of Walking Dead. Don't you feel nostalgic? I'm talking about the TV show. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> we should like find a way to differentiate between the Walking Dead TV show and the Walking Dead video game just by name. We could just call this Telltale's Walking Dead, but. That's not fun enough. Yeah. Let's talk to, let's call this uh the best walking dead. And we'll call the other one the talking dead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that will get confusing with actual talking dead. I know, I know, but they both have fucking same amount of stuff actually happening at times. Well, oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. There's something <laughs> Wow. Yeah, exactly. So I don't really think you can get caught in that, so let's go back to my actual run where I only clicked on the door once and then got right back into the action. I think the reason why I'm not annoyed at this, that you added all that, is because you didn't put extra. If it was, if you really put extra stuff under that that scene under the extra stuff, I would have been kind of annoyed. Yeah.